Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be analyzing two cryptocurrencies and we will be reviewing uh, our predictions made in early and in August. The two cryptocurrencies are Tron and Stellar. So let's see what we can uh, retrieve from the analysis of the two charts under a mere technical point of view. Please subscribe to our channel if you want us to keep releasing technical analysis and price predictions for free. Also like our videos and leave a comment. Let's start our analysis with the Tron on a 2D basis, which means every candle is a 2D one. Now, in one of my previous YouTube videos, I've been clearly stating that Tron was heading into the very strong barrier around 0.05. Actually, that happened, so I was right, and Tron went to hit the 0.05 US dollar. From where I also added that we should be expecting a retrace, which actually is, it is happening right now. Now, let's analyze the volumes. As you can see here, we have detected an increase in terms of volumes, which means a point of control. In other words, most probably the strong hands have been selling their shares of Tron to the retail traders. So what we should be expecting over the next days and weeks? Uh, from here, we should be expecting a retrace till at least this area, 0.02 US dollar. Now, if we switch to the weekly chart, we will have a better idea uh, of what we should be expecting uh, for the next uh, weeks. Uh, here is more clear how we have experienced an increase in volumes. In fact, if you compare these two volumes with the previous ones, you can clearly understand that we are now inside the point of control. Also here, we have detected a reversal pinball, which means we have a longer tail than the body. Again, in other words, we should be expecting a retrace from the 0.05 US dollar to short. Now, where we are and where we might head into the next weeks. Um, here, actually, what happened in uh, March 2020, exactly on the 8th of March 2020, is that we have experienced a fake breakout downward, which is an extremely important and bullish signal for us. In other words, the bearish forces have tried to push the price even uh, more down, but they failed. From there, we have experienced a huge movement up. Okay. Also here we have an increase in terms of volumes. In fact, if you compare these volumes with the previous one, you can easily understand how we have experienced the increase in volumes. Yet uh, these two volumes are really worrisome for those one who are uh, bulls for uh, Tron right now. So where is Tron right now? Where is setting Tron right now? Tron is moving inside a horizontal, a huge horizontal. Uh, rectangle between 0.01 and 0.05. Now the very positive fact is that we are actually in moving in the direction of the upper side of the rectangle. Yet again, I do believe we are going to retrace at least until 0.02, but most probably we should be heading until 0.0118. From there, we will need to analyze again the volumes and uh, let's see if Tron will be able to break above the 0.05 US dollar. I've been uh, stating uh, several times that 0.05 US dollar is the key threshold from where, if broken, Tron could run up to hit new all time highs. So, my idea about Tron is that we are inside a strong movement up, yet I do believe we are going through a period of retrace over the next weeks, but such a period of retrace should be understood, should be uh, analyzed just as a retrace from a new bull trend. So I don't believe we are inside a bearish trend, but we are inside the bull trend and what is, we are experiencing right now is just a healthy retrace, okay? And again, 0.05, I was quite clear that would have been represented a strong key threshold from where Tron most probably would have been rejected, which actually happened. Then we should add another positive signal. If we analyze the cycles indicator, in this case we have the MACD, we 
have detected the higher lows. As you, as you can see here, here we have the first low, second low, and third low. Right now, the very important thing is that the, both the two curves are above the zero line, okay? Which is an extremely important signal, okay? Which means, in other words, that we are in the ascending phase of the Gauss curve. So we are in the ascending phase of the cycles, okay? And as you know, cycles are based by an ascending and descending phase, but normally the two sides of the cycle are not symmetrical, okay? Now, 0.05 needs to be retested again, so we are going through a period of squeezing, okay? So going up and down, going up and down, and then when will be, when Tron will be able to break above the 0.05 US dollar, I have no doubt that we are going to hit new all-time highs. Again, uh, Tron is inside the horizontal rectangle, yet I do believe that after a period of healthy retracement, we could test again the 0.05 US dollar to see again a new period of squeezing to then break above 0.05. So we need to be patient right now um, for those ones, uh, for those ones who are eager to buy Tron right now, I would be awaiting a little bit for a healthy retrace because as you can see here, we run up from 0 0.01 till 0 0.05, so 500% of gain over uh, uh, two months and a half. So we need to go through a period of retrace and then uh, let's see how Tron will be approaching 0.05 US dollar. But now let's move on and let's analyze Stellar because Stellar is a much more interesting chart. Here, actually, what I've done is that I've uh, designed a oblique uh, triangle, okay, which can be detected by linking all these point of lows around 0 0.04, 0 0.05, and by linking, uh, in terms of oblique resistance, this point of I between 0 0.80 US dollar, which was the historical whole time high in uh, 2018, January 2018, and all this point of high. So where we are right now, we have broken, uh, okay, above the oblique resistance of this descending triangle, which is an extremely important bullish signal. Yet, uh, we should be, uh, in order to be very optimistic about Stellar, we should be experiencing uh, some movement like this one. So some huge long white candle where, where, the amplitude, which means the difference between the high and the low, is really high. Actually, this is not happening with the exception of this interesting long white candle. By the way, even in the case, in this case, if you are eager to watch some of my previous YouTube videos, I was clearly stating that 0.010 US dollar would have been representing a strong free shot from where I do believe, or I was believing, Stella was going to retrace. Actually, this is happening. So from where we might take an eye on Stellar uh, in terms of triggering long for Stellar. Definitely 0 0.06 seems to be the very logic first uh, horizontal support that we need to watch out. From there, we need new volumes coming in place. Uh, so let's analyze uh, uh, the volumes right now here. So what we see uh, is that we have experienced an increase in terms of volumes after having broken uh, the oblique resistance, which is actually an extremely bullish signal. It's exactly what we need to see, okay, in order to, to believe in a possible uptrend, strong uptrend for Stellar. So here we've broken above the oblique resistance, uh, and if we analyze this period of retrace, we see that the volumes are decreasing. In other words, uh, this is a very we have two strong, uh, very strong bullish signals. First of all, increase in terms of volumes in conjunction with the long white candle, okay? Then decrease of volumes in the period when uh, Stellar is moving downwards, when Stellar is retracing. So, two extremely bullish signals, two extremely bullish factors in favor of Stellar. So, now, if we uh, project Okay, Stellar, definitely once breaking uh, or retesting the 0 0.10 US dollar, we can immediately project uh, Stellar hitting the 0 0.30 US dollar barrier. So 
as you can see here, the difference between Stellar and Tron is quite clear. While Tron is inside, is still inside a horizontal rectangle, okay, between 0.01 and 0.05, Stellar is broken, okay, above the oblique resistance for this triangle, for this descending triangle. Even in this case, like in the Tron case, we have detected a, a, actually a bullish movement in terms of cycles, in terms of MSCD, we have a, 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 obviously a higher lows, okay, so a bullish divergence, while here we have detected lower lows for Stellar. So what we should be expecting for Stellar over the next weeks and months? Um, 0 0.10 US dollar will be again retested several times. Uh, we should be expecting now a movement downward still at least 0.06 US dollar with a 9 out of 10 probabilities. So for the near future, for the short term, I do believe Stellar is doomed to go back till 0.06. From there we need to evaluate again uh, volumes. We need volumes again coming in place in order to support uh, seller yet 0 0.10 US dollar is going to be hit again from there I do believe we're going through a period of squeezing which means movement between I and those and then definitely we are going to break above 0 0.10 to test the first the very first free shot till zero at 0 0.30 US dollar uh, yet the most important um, factor that we can detect by analyzing the chart is that Stellar is broken above the oblique resistance of the descending triangle. In other words, I'm extremely bullish for Stellar. 2021-2022 could be based on the fractals, the period when we might see Stellar hitting new highs. Definitely, if you are, uh, you, if you have Stellar in your portfolio, the idea, the suggestion is to hodl. Thank you, guys.